Hey everybody, this is Scott. You know, I've had a chance to play with the new Camtasia 2.1 for the past week or so, and i got to tell you, I've come up with five really creative, unique uses on how we can leverage the chroma key effect. Let me go over that with you right here. You know, the uh, first creative use that I see with it is if we come in, let's convert some of our sales presentations using the new Camtasia and let's get those videos online. I love the ability of us being able to give a, a presentation you know, right to our screen and then superimposing uh, our video on top of our keynote or PowerPoint presentation. Now a couple of things I want to remind you about. Number one, I always try to convert my videos into the 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio and that makes it widescreen so it plays well on iPads, it plays well on the computer, it plays well on on phones and all that but it's the HD format so you may need to convert your keynote or PowerPoint slides to the HD format before you do that. Also try to keep them short. Uh, short videos are always better. I bet a lot of us have really long uh, keynote and PowerPoint presentations so you might need to shorten them down and then take a look at your template. You're going to want to make sure that your template is video friendly. Now, the second unique and creative use here, and I've talked to this about some, uh, some people that I'm working with now, is creating a video email signature. In other words, go ahead and create your video, uh, superimpose yourself over your presentation, a lot like what I'm doing, and then embed a link to that video in your email signature and um, create shortcuts so you can quickly uh, enter your signature on your phone or on your PC, lots of different tools to do that. And finally, because people may be taking a look at this with their mobile devices, you might want to create a small 640 by 360 uh, video. So make sure the video is small. You, there's no reason to make it a full you know, 1280 by 720 or heaven forbid, you know, 1920 by uh, 1080. So you don't have to go full HD on that. So think about that in your email signatures. Uh, another creative use is, and, and I've been doing this this past week, creating a network meeting follow-up. So when I meet somebody at a chamber event or if I meet somebody at a networking event, a BNI event or something, I have a pre-built uh, project in Camtasia and all I have to do is swap out the videos. It's really cool. So if I meet somebody and I get their card, uh, for example this week I came home and very quickly produced two uh, personal uh, video responses to them saying, hey, it was great to meet you, love to get together for a coffee or something, let's talk about some different things, but I was able to send those videos out very quickly. And um, the one thing I would do is try to make those personal. And so I would state their name so they knew it was a custom video just to them reiterating some of the things that we spoke about. So take a look at that. I'm going to play with some generic ones as well. I'm curious to see if I can't create a generic introduction. Hi, this is Scott. And it was great meeting you at a certain chamber event without going into their name so much. So I'm going to see how that works. Um, the fourth creative use, and, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this later on this week, is to create a, a quick video that's optimized for the sidebar in my blog, in my website, that will encourage email signups. So I'm going to play with some different green screen techniques, but then this one hit me saying, okay, what can we do? How could we leverage this to increase signups on our distribution list? So I'm going to play with that one a little bit and the chroma key. And then finally, and this is something I tell all of my video uh, marketing customers, I tell them to think about their frequently asked questions and create videos around each one of those. So whatever your customers are typically asking for, and Camtasia is going to be perfect for this, whatever they're asking for, let's create videos around each one of those questions but I want you to think about your sales process. And the question is, is that how do we move customers through our sales process? So if they watch this frequently asked question, 
What's the next thing we want them to do? Do we want them to sign up on our mailing list? Do we want them to set up an appointment with us or perhaps buy something? So think about what your call to action is after that frequently asked question. There you have it. Five creative uses that I've come across just in the past week on how we can leverage the new chroma key option in the new Camtasia Mac.